Mr. Moti Koshner, uh, you're the CEO of Move AI, and um, it's a pleasure for me to be sitting with you today uh, and to gain a little bit from your great experience. So, Mr. Moti, today I would like to know about AI and applying AI to your industry. Where do you see your industry for the upcoming five to ten years? We are in the robotics industry. We are building software for robots. It mm -hmm. means, if you think about it, software is a brain of the robot. And yes. we would like to have a very autonomous robot who can move around, fix stuff for you. Do Clean it. the house for you. Uh, that will take a little bit longer. <laughs> Let's talk about moving pallets for you and shifting goods from one side of the factory to the other side in the next. That would be end. good. Right. Yeah. So when we talk about AI, is how this robot interact with other humans and other machines in the factory. And I'm wow. seeing you crossing the aisle in the factory. What should I do? Should I stop? Is it OK? Are you a person? Are you a machine? Uh, should I stop emergency break because something is wrong? Exactly. Are you sitting on the floor? This is where AI wow. gets into place, OK? So there is a lot of computer vision and AI that allow the robot to take smart decisions what to do, when to do it. So AI is going to be huge in the robotic space. But it will take time. You are not going to see this robot taking care of your laundry and dishes. Or taking care of your baby. Exactly. No, right? But it will change the way industry works. And I guess in the next 10 to 15 years, there's going to be a massive job loss for people that will get out of the industry. So that would be the challenges in that, right? Exactly. We need to think what we are doing with those people. We need to train them. We need to make them kind of, I call it robotic technicians. Because those robots will need maintenance. They will exactly. need to be taken care of. It's not going to be working without a supervision. So that's the challenge of our days is how we make those employees. So what would be the benefits? The benefits, like always, the job that those people are doing today, we call it the three Ds jobs, dull, dirty, and dangerous. People don't like to do them. The benefit is we're going to take off their boring jobs, dirty, dangerous jobs from the hands of people replacing it by robots. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the people that will lose their jobs can be trained in order to sit relaxed in their office and control the robot, program the robot, instruct the robot. That's how we should think about it. So do you think AI is important? It's very important to be applied in our lives. Yeah, but like any other industry, we are now in the top of the hype of AI. There's going to be disillusionment, and then it will kick in. So. Yeah, AI is important, but it will take baby steps till we see robots really using and utilizing it okay. everywhere. So what steps you guys are taking to um, creating or inventing a repo? Because, um, like, you know, each one of us comes from different backgrounds. So is there any regulation you guys are using or bylaws before inventing the repo? Yeah, so like always, regulation regulation is really following behind the innovation, right? Mm -hmm. So what is happening right now that in the space of robotics, at least the Western world, let's call it Europe, North America, Japan, yeah. starting to come up with regulations. What is allowed, what is not allowed by robots to do? Uh, what does safety mean? What does risk prevention mean? What does uh, a machine with full of sensors running around yeah. the factory is allowed to do, right? Can she take picture of you? Is it allowed to sneak behind you? Can it report backward? There is a lot oh, of yeah. issues we need to take care of. And the regulations start to kick in. Always late, but I guess, yes, we need to regulate those machines because those are extremely sophisticated machines moving around, taking pictures of everybody. Exactly. That's, we need it's to not take safe it. somehow, but it's also important. We cannot live without AI, actually. Yeah, exactly. It's like everything is based on AI right now. It's going to take time, but eventually, you know, what is AI? It's the ability of the machine to work autonomously. Yes. And it's going to be baby steps, but eventually we're going to get there. Perfect. Thank you so much for being with me today. It's a long day and a great day, and I've learned uh, from you all. Thank you for sharing with us uh, this information, valuable information. Thank you so much, Mr. Hava. Thank you. It was my pleasure.